a dream I know Deep up my feelings for you Hello reality viewers, welcome back again to Reality Latest Gist, the home of news and politics. For this channel, we they drop news every day and we they react to every video when it comes our way. And our reality news now we they drop for this channel and we they also they talk on as it be. If today not the first time we say they come across this channel, you are highly welcome. Thank you so much for stopping by. And if you are returning subscribers, I appreciate all of you now for our massive support to this channel i say may god bless all of you now in jesus name amen i get video away i want to present to una this very moment and i'm going to follow now they watch the video after we don't watch them together make we drop our opinion constructively for the comment section like our videos and also share our videos if possible bye for now we have come to a despicable point we have now come to a point where assassination attempts are being made in order to scare people that have cases at the presidential election petition tribunal. And these aren't just mere rumors. The police announced that they have arrested people that confessed that they were hired to carry out that assassination assignment. But before I break that down, let me quickly tell you that former governor of River State, Yen Somwike, is at it again. After subverting the will of the people in River State, Wike has been exposed again, trying to get close to the tribunal judges so that he can try to influence the decision of the judges. Now, we all know how Wike subverted the will of the people in River State in the presidential election, how he gave Peter Obi's votes to the APC. Last week, it was rumored that he wanted to meet with the judges in Spain, but that was an unconfirmed rumor. But two days ago, on Sunday, Honorable Justice Monica Dongba Mensem held a memorial service for her late son, and Wike and three other APC governors attended. Now, this woman, Honorable Justice Monica Dongbam, is the president of the Court of Appeal, and she is on the five-man panel that is presiding over the presidential election petition tribunal. And Wike, in company of three other APC governors, visited her late son's memorial service, uninvited. Nobody invited her. Look at how the papers reported it. No fewer than four governors yesterday attended the memorial service organized by the President of the Court of Appeal, Justice Monica Dongbam Mensem, for her son, Parker Shebnan Dongbam, who passed on last year. Some of the governors who attended the event held at Demshin in Plateau State still have cases at the election petition court, where the appeal court president would have a major role to play. You did hear that? However, there was no evidence that the appeal court president invited the governors to the event. According to the analysts, the governors might have attended the event in a typical Nigerian gesture and perhaps to curry favor. Speaking at the service held at St. Peter's Clever Church, Demshin in Plateau State, the governor of Oyo State, Governor Sheima Kinde, who said he was speaking on behalf of the Nigerian Governors Forum, sympathized with Justice Dongba Mensem, saying the governors identify with the family at the memorial service. Governors identify with family. And somebody will tell me that Sheima Kinde is not an APC governor. That is not to me. Everybody will support APC for presidential election. Now, APC member to me. Shea Makinde is an APC governor in my own opinion. And Wike is a member of APC in my own opinion. He was also with this APC governor of Benue State. This one I say is a Reverend Father. Reverend Father High Saint Alia. They all went uninvited to visit the president of the Court of Appeal, Justice Monica Dengben. And we all know that anything where we can hand day inside can never be straightforward. That was a crooked visit. That was a visit with very, very dubious intentions. And they have failed because they have been exposed. Reverend Father of Benue State, you cannot correct them. You are joining them to do bad things. You are joining them to be dubious, to try to subvert justice. But they have been exposed because people came for them on social media. They said, we are watching you. Our eyes are on you. Wike, the dubious man. You pack people for back. You want to bribe judges to subvert the will of the people once again. But you have failed. And you will pay for your sins on earth here and in the great beyond. On to the issue of 
assassination attempt. The story is as real as real can be. Look at how the papers reported it. Police arrested suspected Boko Haram members over alleged plot to attack Atiku. The police in Adamawa State, Northeast Nigeria, on Sunday, arrested four people suspected to be members of Boko Haram over an alleged plot to attack a former vice president, Atiku Abubakar. We wish to alert the Nigerian public that at about 9.44 p.m. on Sunday, 23rd July 2023, a man seeking to confirm the residence of His Excellency Atiku Abubakar in Yola was apprehended at the gate of the residence. The man who was apprehended by security operatives at the residence of Atiku Abubakar was later handed over to the police. Upon further interrogation by the police, the suspect identified himself as a 29-year-old Jubrila Muhammad and confessed to being a Boko Haram member from Damboa in Borno State. The suspect also informed the police that he and his colleagues, who were later arrested too, intended to attack organizations associated with Atiku Abubakar and some other sensitive locations in Yola. <laughs> Now, if this is an attempt to scare His Excellency Peter Obi, I'm glad to announce to them that they have failed woefully. Maybe they will think that now that he has heard it, he will become scared, apprehensive that, hey, these people are coming, oh, these people are trying to attack me, oh, you guys have failed woefully. The man stands tall and he is not backing down. And in other news, APC top chieftain, comrade Adams Oshomole, the talkative. <laughs> Osomo oh, the talkative has come out to mock Nigerians that voted APC. He mocks them. He said, why are they complaining? He said, did Tinubu promise them anything? He said, Tinubu is not a magician. Did he promise you magic? <laughs> because of the increasing level of poverty in Nigeria, the few foolish Nigerians that voted APC came out crying. They said, the poverty is too much. Ah, that did they vote Tinubu so that they will suffer like this? Oshomole now came out and said, Shut up! What did Tinubu promise you? You people should keep quiet. Tinubu is not a magician. And other Nigerians came into the comment section of that update and further mocked those that voted APC. Look at some of the tweet reactions. This one said, He is right. Tinubu never promised anything. He hid from debates, interviews, only danced at the campaign. So what do you want to hold him for? <laughs> and this tweet also said, Well, he is right. Tinubu did not promise his back deals anything. They can't hold anything against him. Enjoy your tribal bigotry over competence. Oh! And this tweet said, The reason Tinubu is confused now, he is trying to raise funds, leaving the criminals to go free with stolen Nigerian money. Well, it was their agreement. I support you, you protect me. We need someone who will say no to stealing. So long as stealing continues, no better Nigeria. Facts. <laughs> and people are saying this is the same thing that the spokesman of Buhari said at the beginning of Buhari regime when the suffering began to, to, to increase and Nigerians complained and Femi Additional came out. He said Buhari is not a magician. Only those who are patient with him will enjoy Eight years came and went, and we never saw the enjoyment. And that is why I maintain that the greatest foolishness anybody can display in this country right now is to be a supporter of APC. This is a Tinubu that promised you that he was going to continue from where Buhari stopped. And as soon as he stepped in, the suffering of Nigerians doubled. He was true to his words. Suffering increased. And he went and became the chairman of ECOWAS. Buhari was chairman of ECOWAS. Oshomole now is saying that he is not a magician. Femi Adeshino said Buhari is not a magician when Nigerians complained. He said the same thing that Oshomole said. So we are seeing everything playing out the same way. Buhari said he will share 55,000 Naira. Tinubu said he will share 8,000. It is the same thing. So the man is true to his words. So the same thing you saw with Buhari regime is what you are going to see with this one. So if you didn't support them, I call it the greatest foolishness in Nigeria right now. The best thing to do for anybody who get common sense. Now to come join us, make we shout say, all eyes on the judiciary. All eyes on the judiciary.
Make them do the right thing. Make them pass judgment according to the constitution and the electoral laws. And we are earnestly waiting for them to do that. For the for the good of those of us within this country now and for the children yet unborn. So if you did right, wanna still live on a comment below. If you did bad, wanna still live on a comment below. Wanna remember say everybody gets freedom of speech. Okay? Alright. Thank you very much.